hello what's up you to photographer Ronnie Sweater and this tutorial I want to show you, you can easily get the best out of your images in Photoshop. I know profiles most of the times tend to lack colors and they don't look appealing to the eye. So I want to show you, you can easily color grade and process your files in camera raw or even Lightroom if at all you have or use Lightroom or camera raw as a raw processing software. So you can look at the before and the after. So this is the before and after and you can see how the colors are popping and looking better in the after image. So I'm just going to simply come and I reset this so that you can understand everything from the very start to the very end. And if I told you find the video helpful as you're going along with this tutorial, simply hit the like button because it helps you to push and recommend this video and this channel in general to many people out there. So simply smash the like button. So this is the raw file taken using my Canon 6D camera and usually I prefer shooting in RAW and JPEG though I only edit the RAW files because I have so much information to work with. For example in the sky area you can see right now in the RAW file the sky looks a little bit more on the white side but we still capture detail by shooting in RAW. So I'm just going to come right here to the basic adjustments. And under the basic adjustments, I'm, I'm going to play around with the exposure tab in camera row. So I'll simply come to my highlights and simply recover the highlights by clicking and taking the highlights slider down. And you can see that gets back the blue color within the sky. And I do the same for the white, just like that. And that gets back the color in the sky area. So after doing that, I simply come and add contrast by taking up the contrast slider up to around 13 because when I'm shooting I usually take out the contrast in the camera and after doing that I'm just going to come to the blacks and take down the black slider so this adds contrast to the image so if I told you want to eliminate shadows brought about as a result of crashing or taking the blacks down simply come the sh shadow slider and simply open up the shadows a little bit so I feel like the image is slightly overexposed. So what I'll do, I'll simply come to the exposure and take it just a little bit down. So this is what we have for just the exposure correction. And this is the before and the after. But the image is not popping. So if I told you want the image to pop, we're simply going to come down here. And we're just going to add some tiny bit of vibrance of around 2. So I'm just going to take up the vibrance slider a little bit or three because when you want the image to pop don't play around with the saturation slider because when you do this you can see how ugly the image gets to be so always don't play around with the saturation slider but i'll be showing you a tool that you can use to make the image pop so we're going to come straight all the way down to our color mixer and under color mixer we have these magical options that are hue saturation luminance and i'm going to be explaining those better and in detail in this tutorial so right now let's first of all handle luminance luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color saturation is the intensity of a given color and hue is basically a shade of a given color for example if at all i am playing around with the orange slider and I'm taking the orange slider towards the right hand side under the hue option you can see that the hue of orange towards the right hand side is going to be the color below it which is the yellow color and the hue of the orange slider towards the left hand side is going to be like the color on top of it that is why it is making the orange color looking like the red color and the opposite is going to make the oranges look like the yellow so that is how the hues work so in this case, I want to first of all recover the blues in the sky and I want the sky to pop and complement her outfit. So these two have a blue color within it. So remember, we are first of all going to darken the blue color which is under the luminance. So come and select the lum luminance color or the luminance option in the color mixer option in camera or Lightroom and simply come to the blues and simply take that down so don't take it all the way down because that is going to be looking odd and it's going to be causing some fringing effect which is not looking nice 
So just add a tiny bit of darkening effect under the luminance. So negative 30 looks okay and we are not having any fringing in the sky area. And after doing that, we're just going to come and also darken the oranges to get more contrast within the skin tone. So we are going to come to the saturation and simply slightly take up the saturation of the blues just a tiny bit. After around 34 looks okay. And we're going to also increase on the saturation of the oranges after around 6. 6 is okay. Then after we are simply going to come to the hues and play around with these blues. So come the blue channel right here. And we're going to make the blues look like the aquas. Like I said, when you're taking the slider of a given color under the hues towards the left hand side, we are going to make that color look like a color on top of it. And towards the right hand side, we'll be making the color look like the color beneath it. So we are going to come down here to the blues and simply make it look like the aquas. Negative 13 is okay. And we are simply going to make the reds a little bit more on the orange side and make the oranges more on the red side by taking the slider towards the left hand side. And now the image is getting there but this is not it. So if at all you want to get the best out of the image, you are simply going to come and make the image pop by coming to the calibration tool in camera row. So we're just going to come to the blue primary slider and you're simply going to come the saturation and as you're taking up the saturation slider just look at how the image is popping you can see how the colors are popping but don't take it all the way up so at around you can see that this is going to be affecting the greens in the background and also the blues and the yellows so now the skin is now popping and you can simply come and take just down to add more reds to the skin tone of our model right here. So right now the image is popping and let's look at a quick before and after for the processing of this very image and what we have been able to achieve so far. So this is the before, after, before, after. You can see how nice this looks. So if at all you are satisfied with this, you can stop right here. Then if at all you'd love to add a little bit of sharpening to the image or if at all the image is lacking sharpness, you can simply come to the effects panel and you can play around with the sharpening of the image or you can even add grain or any given effect to the image. So basically you can just come to the detail panel rather. And you can add sharpening to the image. So the right way to sharpen, first of all, mask the image by pressing alternate on the keyboard. And you drag this slider up, up to when the areas you want to be sharp have been highlighted in this case. And they are going to be highlighted by displaying a white color around those areas. And you can simply drag up the sharpening slider up to when you feel like that is enough for you. So this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel so this is a before after before after so this is it for this video and i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating